Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please only like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory our Father. Child of God, a lot of drama are about to unfold. You must pay attention when you see that they are beginning to act funny now. They are acting very funny in desperation. They are acting in desperation just to make sure you don't win. A lot of drama are about to unfold because the time that they thought you would fail, you did not fail. So it is clearly, it is very clear now that you that is hearing me right now, you are still winning. You are still winning. Hear that word very well. Underline that statement. I am still winning. There is a timeline that is set that you will fail. You will fall. You will just be gone. You will be you will be wiped out. That is just I didn't want to say this message in a way that maybe somebody will feel somebody will feel afraid and all of that. Because I'm not here to plant fear. You understand? I'm not here to plant fear. I, I fear. I don't want to be a prophet of doom. <laughs> yes, but definitely. You have to release the word. Even if it is a doom message, it's not a doom message, you have to release it. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. A lot of drama are about to unfold. And in this drama, so many of them, they will fight themselves and they will kill themselves. They will fight themselves, I repeat again, and they will kill themselves. Because who was sent the message to stop you from winning and who... who they said they are going to fight against each other. Like it's because you did not do it well. Ah, it's because you did not carry out the assignment. I gave you all the ingredient. I gave you everything. Just like they, they sent somebody to poison someone. And the person did. And the person they tried to poison did not die. What happened? So the one that, that gave the poison is like, you gave me a fake poison. The other one said, no, I gave you original poison. You did not poison the person well. But not knowing that it is God, the blood of Jesus, and the protection of God upon the person they wanted to poison, that is what stopped that poison from even manifesting in the body. There are so many people who have been poisoned, but they are still alive. That same poison that they drank or that they ate somewhere, somebody ate it. In two seconds, the person died. It is not because the person that did not die is better than the other one that died. It is because the grace and the destiny that God asked the person to live, the person have not lived it. So that person is not permitted to die at that particular time. You are going to see a lot of drama. You have to, you know, this is a prophetic word to somebody. You will see a lot of drama unfolding because you are still winning. You are no longer in where you used to be. You have moved. You have moved from a hopeless situation to a place where there is hope. The Bible says he will bring hope. He will bring comfort. He will bring strength. He will bring everything where there is none. Because in the land that is dry, the desert, he make a way. That is the word, that is the word of the Lord. When you have even stayed in the desert, God can still water that land. When the enemy push you to that level and you find yourself in a desert, God can turn that desert to become a fertile ground. God can turn that desert to become a clean one. God can turn that place to become a place where even people who were not in the desert will not want to come there. Because how God, because he's the God that created the land. He's the God of our brothers. He can open the windows. He can shower his blessing. He can shower his rain. His rain can fall upon anyone that he said the rain should fall upon. Hallelujah. 
He said, for anyone that come unto me, they are saved. So when you dwell in the Lord, he will supply. When you dwell in the Lord, he will make life where there is no life. This is why the enemy are having dramas with you right now. A drama I about to afford because all the poison, all the whining that they whine concerning you. Do you know that people poison people's journey? When well, we talk about poison, maybe somebody is just thinking about eating and drinking. People poison people's journey. They will poison it with, with lies, with different kinds of hate, so that everyone that look at that person will not want to hear that person anymore. People poison, they will put something on the ground. Somebody will match it. It is gone. You don't know. It's a spiritual, it's a spiritual thing. When my dad was alive, he experienced that. He matched something and his leg became swollen. What he matched, you cannot see it. It's a spiritual thing. It is a spiritual thing. So when I speak of things like this, I've had, I've seen people with a leech. Uh, I, I might not be that old, but the few years that God has allowed me to live on this earth by his grace, I've seen a lot of things as well. A lot of drama I about to unfold because everyone see you now. They now see that you are still winning. Child of God, I want you to know that you will continue to win. And let them fight themselves. Let them slaughter themselves. That is not on you. It is not your fault that they are fighting themselves. It is not your fault that they are doing whatever they are doing. That is their own fault. You are innocent of whatever that they are doing or that they are saying. I want you to stay winning. God wants you to keep winning for him. Please keep winning for the Lord. Stay on the winning side. If you are on the Lord's side, you are on the winning side. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.